Roll, baby, roll with these pinwheel-shaped pizza rolls that are party perfect. Calling all pizza lovers. All right, guys, are you guilty of this? Society says you're supposed to eat pizza like this. Yum, 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 yum. But to me, the best part is the crust. Does anyone do this? Am I right? Anyone? Because here's the thing. You have this delicious piece of crust, little pockets of puffy goodness. The cheese is melty. The sauce is right there. So I actually like to start it on this side. So when I saw these pizza pinwheels on Pinterest, whoa, pizza pinwheels on Pinterest, try saying that 10 times fast, I knew I had to show you guys how to make them. So it starts with some refrigerated pizza dough, and we're just gonna put this on some parchment paper. Now to help prevent it from sticking, I'm just gonna add a little bit of flour. Feed the chickens. I love using this because it just eliminates an extra step of making homemade dough, waiting for it to rise. I don't have time for that. I'm trying to make videos for you guys. So I'm just gonna take my dough and stretch it out. And feel free to use your fingertips. This is gonna help prevent it from puffing up. All right, now we're just gonna put all of our favorite toppings on top of our dough. So I'm just gonna start with some pizza sauce. And think about it, at this point you could do like truffle oil or white sauce. You can make whatever pizza you want into a pizza pinwheel. How fun is that? Okay, so I'm gonna spread this out and just leave about an inch on the side so that it doesn't squirt out the sides. Then we're gonna add our cheese, and I'm going with traditional mozzarella, but you can really have fun with the cheeses. Any type of cheese you want, you can do a mixed blend. Mexican pizza is so good, that's my latest obsession, but these are always a crowd pleaser. And then for our toppings, I'm just gonna do some pepperoni. And keep everything on top of the sauce. You wanna make sure that you're really leaving that one inch around the dough. Something else that I love besides pizza crust is garlic, especially when they serve pizza with garlic dipping sauces. So I actually have a little trick for that. We're gonna roll this baby up, and as we roll it up, I'm gonna add garlic butter to every inch of this dough. Oh my God, it's gonna be so good. So here's what I mean. So we're gonna roll this up lengthwise. So just gently use your fingers to roll it up over that first part. There we go. It's kind of like when you're rolling sushi rolls, you gotta make sure you're tucking all the ingredients in there. And then stop and get your brush. And all I have in here is melted butter. I'm just gonna put like a teaspoon of garlic powder in there. There we go. Mmm. Who doesn't love the smell of garlic? And then I'm just gonna brush my melted butter along this dough and then do it again. So carefully just fold that dough up Tuck it back, because you want a piece of pepperoni in every single bite. Brush it, and then I'm just gonna keep rolling and brushing until I get all the way to the end. And just one more. Now you're gonna notice that this guy is getting really big, and all that pizza sauce is making this dough a little tough to work with. So we're gonna pop this into the freezer for about 15 minutes. This is gonna let it firm up so it's easier to cut. So as you can see, it's been in the freezer. It's nice and firm. And now I'm just gonna slice this into one and a half inch slices. So it's almost like we're making cinnamon rolls, but pizza rolls. And place that onto your parchment paper. I mean, think about it. It's like pizza crust, pizza topping, pizza crust, pizza topping. This is a pizza crust lover's dream, you guys. I mean, these look so good. Now I'm craving cinnamon rolls for dessert. Would that be too much? I don't think so. Now you could also Make this ahead of time overnight, and then when your guests arrive, start cutting them and pop them into the oven. All right, so these are looking good, but they're about to look better. I'm just gonna hit them with a little bit of egg wash so that that crust is nice and shiny. And then I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of Parmesan cheese on each one. And once I'm done, I'm just gonna pop this into an oven that's been preheating at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes or until they're golden brown, the sauce is nice and bubbly, and your house smells like pizza goodness. What I love about this recipe is it's easy, quick, and affordable, and then for a presentation, you gotta serve it with extra pizza sauce, ranch dressing, and if you're like me, I love a little buffalo wing sauce on the side too. And there is no double dipping on my watch. I like to flip and dip, got it? A little dip, mm. flip it, and another dip. Oh my gosh, yum. Guys, I would love to know if you're gonna try this recipe. Let me know in the comment box below and don't forget to hashtag eat the trend on Instagram. I'm Brandy, I'll see you next time, bye.